Transcribed. From Hollywood, we present the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Brought to you by Anison for fast relief from pain of headache, neuritis, and neuralgia. By Dentine, the gum with breathtaking flavor. And Chicklets, the candy-coated gum with the flavor that won't chew out. And by Chesterfield. Sound off for Chesterfield. Get something new, something no other cigarette has. Chesterfield mildness plus no unpleasant aftertaste. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our master of ceremonies. Hi, folks. This is Dean Martin. Well, another Friday has rolled around, which means another session in which we kick around a few songs, try a little nonsense, and say a few kind words about our wonderful sponsors. So why don't you light up a Chesterfield, unwrap a piece of dentine, and keep an Anison handy, because <laughs> Jerry is apt to be out here real soon. We're doing the show from the campus of one of our large universities. And the last time I saw Jerry, he was heading towards the biology lab. While the biology professor is trying to figure out exactly what he is, <laughs> I should have time for walking my baby back home. Gee, but it's great after being out late. Walking my baby back home Arm in arm over meadow and farm Walking my baby back home We go along harmonizing a song Or I'm reciting a poem Owls go by and they give me the eye Walking my baby back home Stop for a while, she gives me a smile Snuggles her head to my chest Starting to pet And that's when I get Her talcum all over my vest After I kind of straighten my tie She wants to borrow the comb One kiss then we continue again Walking the baby back home We stop for a while She kind of gives me a smile Snuggles her head to my chest Start in the pet And that's when I get Talcum over my vest After I kind of straighten my tie She wants to borrow the comb One kiss then we continue again Walking my bed Now, folks, if you happen to be carrying your earplugs, I suggest you insert them, because it uh, comes time to introduce the Shriek himself, my partner and pal, Jerry Lewis. <laughs> oh, there you are, Dino boy. How are you? <laughs> well, this is certainly a pleasant surprise. You didn't expect me. <laughs> Oh, Jerry, don't be silly. Besides, I like the way you came out tonight. You were nice and dignified. No kidding. I like your new culture. Why shouldn't I be cultured? Dad was a pearl. <laughs> of course you're cultured, and, and it makes for a pleasant change. Yeah, remember, Dean, how I used to come out and say, Really, ladies and gentlemen, how are you all? Well, I sure do. Well, well, I don't talk like that no more. Well, what brought on the change? Well, I figured that since we're broadcasting from a college, I'll talk like I'm a real college feller. Well, that's fine, Jerry. I'm sure you'll make a big hit with the co-eds. Never mind the co-eds. I want to make a hit with the girls. <laughs> but, Jerry, co-eds and girls are synonymous. Good heavens, when do they have time to study? <laughs> well, it's plain to see you've never been to a college before. I've never been to college. Don't make me laugh. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Just Why? ask about me at Harvard. Check the honor roll at Yale. Call a dean at Dartmouth. They'll tell you. He wants to know I've been to a college. <laughs> Have you? Well, no. I didn't. But, uh, <laughs> honestly, Jared, we'd better go on with the show. Yeah, who's our first guest, Dean? Well, I had hoped to talk to one of the leading students here, but uh, he couldn't make it. 
Gee, how about letting me be the student? I'm here at the college. I can tell you anything you want to know. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, it becomes my pleasure to introduce the most popular member of this grand student body. He's the valedictorian of the senior class and has been just voted the handsomest man on the campus. Here he is, Merwin M. Mertz. Welcome, Mr. Mertz, and I hope you're not nervous. Uh, oh, no, I used to do all this stuff. Uh, uh, i tell you the truth, I was the announcer uh, at the school radio station. <laughs> You were a radio announcer? Uh, yeah, I guess they, uh, they, uh, picked me because they liked my dishin. Dishin? You mean they liked your diction? Oh, you were there? <laughs> well, Merwin, how does it feel to be voted the handsomest man on the campus? I had no competition, kid. But this to be, look at me good, kid. I had no competition. <laughs> Just take a look at this complexion. Say, that is some complexion. Tell me, where do you get green sun? <laughs> hey, Merwin, I know you're handsome and smart, but did you win any other honors? Oh, sure. Last week, I was voted the bad most likely to. Most likely to what? I don't know. The meeting broke up early. Oh. <laughs> you must be quite an authority on college life. I should be. I've been to three other colleges. Uh, at what colleges were you before you came here? Oh, uh, I was at Vassar. But that's a girl's college. Look, you go where you want to go, uh, I go where I want to go. Tell me, Merwin, uh, what's your favorite subject in uh, curriculum? was right, wasn't it? Curriculum. C-U-R-I-C-U-L-U-M. Curriculum. All right, we'll try it again. Tell me, Merwin, what is your favorite subject in curriculum? You got a bigger hand with nuts? <laughs> uh, curriculum, did you say, buddy? Yeah, I said well, curriculum. I'll just have to ask you to watch your language. You're in a college now, and we can't appreciate that show business speedy type talk. No, no, you, you don't understand. I mean, what do you take up? Uh, wait, let's see. I take up German, Italian, Polish, Japanese. You take up all those languages? What languages? I run an elevator. Oh. <laughs> all right, well, just forget. Let, let's talk about your future. What will be your vocation? Last two weeks in August. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, uh, what are you going to do when you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe stop for a beer or something. What no! Is... <laughs> Merwin, are you pulling my leg? Not me. Maybe your garter broke. <laughs> All right. Tell me, do you belong to any fraternity? Yeah, I belong to three fraternities and what sorority? The sororities are for girls. Look, buddy, we had this trouble before. You go where you want to go, I go where I want to go. Talk it out here, will you, Jerry? Well, folks, now that peace and quiet has been temporarily restored... Let's lend an air to Jimmy Wallington. Thank you, Dean. Ladies and gentlemen, if you suffer from pains of headaches, neuritis, or neuralgia, you should discover what many thousands have known for years, that Anison brings incredibly fast, effective relief. Anison is like a doctor's prescription. That is, Anison contains not just one, but a combination of medically proven active ingredients in easy-to-take tablet form. Probably at some time you have received an envelope containing Anison tablets from your physician or dentist. Thousands of people have been introduced to Anison this way. Try Anison yourself the next time you suffer from the pains of a headache, neuritis, or neuralgia. You'll be delighted at how quickly relief can come. Anison is spelled A N A C I N. Your druggist has Anison in handy boxes of 12 and 30 tablets. And economical family size bottles of 50 and 100 for your medicine cabinet. Ask for Anison today. You know, 
those songs are very often like old shoes. The older and more familiar they get, the better they feel. And just like a pair of shoes, it isn't often that you can try one for size and have it fit perfectly the very first time. When it does happen, believe me, you simply love that song. I'd like to sing one that just fits the bill. Richard, let's start hanging around. Hanging around with you Wonderful thing to do Having a time the moment that I'm with you Finding love so true Something I never knew Something I found just hanging around with you Taking a flyer around the blue Floating through space Traveling higher than heaven's door Locked in your sweet embrace Nothing but love in view Beautiful thing for two Paradise bound just hanging around with you Wonderful thing to do Having a time The moment that I'm with you Finding the love that's true Something I never knew Something I found Just hanging around with you Taking a flyer around the blue Floating through space Traveling higher than heaven's door Locked in your sweet embrace Nothing but love in view Beautiful thing for two Paradise bound just hanging down with you Paradise bound just hanging around with you Thank you, folks. Well, since Jimmy Wallington seems to be hanging around to say something, let's all be nice and listen. Thank you, Dean. And now here's something of interest to everybody. For breathless moments, for your breathless moments... Chew dentine, the gum with (gasps) breathtaking flavor. Dentine tastes so good. Dentine freshens your breath. Dentine helps keep your teeth sparkling clean and white. Dentine... The gum with (gasps) breathtaking flavor. Before you go out and always after eating, drinking, smoking, refresh your breath with dentine. You'll love dentine chewing gum, for dentine has a wonderful tingling, nippy flavor that lingers on and on. It's delicious. And remember, dentine helps keep your teeth white, too. Keep dentine handy. You'll enjoy refreshing your breath when you chew dentine. So, for breathless moments, for your breathless moments... Chew dentine, the gum with (gasps) breathtaking flavor. Some years ago, France made us a gift of the magnificent Statue of Liberty. She gave us Miss Liberty in appreciation of our past favors. Well, I don't know what we Americans did to deserve this latest gift, but I'm sure happy to introduce the young lady at this time. Here she is, Mademoiselle Denise Darcel. Thank you, Dean. Thank you very much. But tell me, uh, where is that little partner of yours? Oh, you mean the animal? Let's not talk about him. Hey, Dean, what's going on? Ow! Gee! <laughs> Jerry, I'm ashamed of you. Haven't you ever seen a woman before? Not like that, I haven't, boy. <laughs> now, you calm down and say hello to Denise Darcel. Bonjour, Monsieur Louis. Comment allez-vous? 
Good heavens, Dean, she's Spanish. <laughs> Jerry, Miss Darcel is from France. France? Well, vive la France. Je ne sais pas passer le tout, mais pas passer le tout. Maman, je ne sais pas passer le tout. Non, je ne sais pas tout, mais je ne sais pas passer le tout. What does he mean his uncle is a green pencil box? Uh, so you can't speak French, huh? You're just teasing her. I'm teasing her. <laughs> she stand there looking so beautiful and luscious and feminine and dainty, and she smiles with those dimples, and you say that I'm teasing her. Ho, ho, that's rich. <laughs> Now, that's enough, Jerry. Now, now you shake hands with Miss Darcel like a gentleman. <laughs> you American costumes are so strange. Over here, you shake hands. In France, we kiss. Well, anything I can do to make you feel at home, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing her. No, Jerry. <laughs> Listen to me, Dean Martin. You're just jealous, that's all. Denise, I'm sick and tired of all this abuse. Take me back to France with you. Oh, no. I don't want to be the one to come between two friends. You see, I know that you are a really good friend because I saw your wonderful picture. That's my boy. Well, you can have those football pictures. I'd like a good, tough part. How about you, Denise? I'd like to be tough, too. Maybe someday we can do one together. Together? And I can be your, uh, how can you say it, your mall. Why wait? Let's give it a whirl, huh? Everyone enjoys the thrill and excitement of college sports. But sometimes the sinister influence of the organized underworld seeks to undermine these wholesome American activities. What of these evil men? And what of their women? And what of the brave young athletes they are determined to corrupt? For a good look, we take you to the headquarters of that notorious gambler, Dino Martini. Hello. Hey. This is Dino Martini. That's all right. 100 G's on the Derby Tech for tomorrow's game. You wanted to do in advance? Okay, but you have to wait until the bank closes. <laughs> Goodbye. How do you like that, baby? 100 G's at 10 to 1. That's a cool million we make. But how can you be sure we win? You're going to help me, baby. But I've no played football for years. <laughs> Listen carefully. Darby Tech is playing Garen University, and Garen's best player is on his way right now. You're going to get him to throw the game. Oh, but how can poor little me do this to a big, handsome athlete? Well, you can... Are you kidding? <laughs> That's him now. Come in. Hi, my name is Bronco Falkowski. <laughs> All American, and uh, this is my football. Well... Pleased to meet you. Pardon, but which one is a football? Hey, I know what you are. You're a girl. How can you... Amazing. How can you tell? Those high heels are a dead giveaway. Falkowski, I want to talk to you. How long have you been playing college football? Well, I started my sophomore year. That sophomore, junior, senior, uh, about 12 years. <laughs> Bronco, put that football down for a minute and listen to me. I got a proposition. Just what do you have in mind, buddy? Dino, you are rushing things. Leave him to me. Falkowski, you are adorable. You affect me so strangely. I can hardly stand. You make me sway. I, I, I get dizzy. Excuse me, ma'am, but you're standing on my football. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, have you ever... Gosh, no, have you? <laughs> Let me do this my way, kid. Listen. You listen to Dino's proposition and you'll never need that football game. <laughs> Is it honest and above board? There's ten grand in it for you. How will I get rid of the body? <laughs> listen, I want gar on you to lose tomorrow. But you're asking me to forsake my alma mater. You want me to cheat the coach, the faculty, my friends, the university that I know and love so well... You want me to do this for $10,000? So? Would you make it fifteen? <laughs> that's a deal. That's a deal, Falkowski. No, it isn't. 
I'm a clean, living American boy. I am honest and upright and true blue. And besides, when I play football... I play just for the sport and the tuition and room and board and spending money and paid-up insurance and oil well. Well, okay, you don't have to get so huffy about it. I'm not huffy. Huffy plays left guard. I'm Kalkowski. <laughs> Listen, you... You throw that game tomorrow or... Hello. Yeah, just a second. It's for you, Falkowski. Hello. Oh, hello, coach. What? No, they can't do this to me. Well, what'll I do? Coach, you gotta stop them. You gotta stop me before it's too late, coach. But they can't... They, they can't do this to me. Coach! Coach! He hung up. Oh, what happened? I'm graduating. Falkowski, you're through. Yeah, get him out of here. You mean you don't like me no more? I'm not a Dora Blable? <laughs> you are nothing. I don't want to look at you anymore. It's like I always thought. It just shows to go, yes. Yeah. Crazy. You gotta be a football hero to get along with a beautiful girl. You gotta be a touchdown getter, you bet. If you want to get a baby to pay The fact that I am tall and handsome Don't get me anywhere with girls You gotta be a football hero To get along with a beautiful girl Say, Jerry, it's time to sound off for Chesterfield. Oh, goody, now I can sing some more. Sound off for Chesterfield. Take a tip from Jerry and me. Always be sure to ABC. When you do, you'll find it's true. Chesterfield has something new. Mildness plus. No aftertaste. Mildness plus. No aftertaste. No unpleasant aftertaste in Chesterfield. That's, That's right. right. Science discovered when you can prove you better get into the smoking groove for Chesterfield. Now, that's Chesterfield. 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 Milder, 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 Chesterfield. That's right. right. Get your money on the line for the cigarette or flute you find. Buy the pack or buy the cart and your smoking fun will just be starting. Sound up. For Chesterfield. Sound up. For Chesterfield. Try a pack of Chesterfields. Do it. Today. <laughs> You know, folks, though any similarity between the gambler that I played and myself was strictly for laughs, I must admit that like most people, I do have a little of that gambling blood in my veins, which all reminds me of a night in Las Vegas a few years ago. I was singing with a small combo, and when I wasn't on the bandstand, I managed to keep myself busy trying to woo Lady Luck over to my side with very little success. You see, she was going steady with the boss. Well, one night I found myself down to my last ten dollars, and since it was a long, long time till payday, I figured I'd better hang on to the ten for cigarettes and arrangements. I started to walk out of the casino when I heard the jute box give out with just one more chance. Well, I'm not usually a superstitious guy, but this struck me as a hunch. So I turned around, threw down my ten, picked up the dice, and threw them. Well, sir, I never looked into a prettier pair of snake eyes. You may think I'm crazy, but darn it, I still like that song. So, Richard, let's take... Just one more chance To prove it's you Well, all I care for Each night I say A little prayer for Just one more chance Just one To taste the kisses that enchant me I'd want no others if it grant me Just 
one more chance I've learned a meaning of repentance Now you're the jury at my trial I know that I should serve my sentence Still I'm hoping all the while You'll give me Just one more word I said that I was glad to start out But now I'm back to cry my heart out For just one more chance I've learned the meaning of repentance Now you're the joy at my trial I know that I should serve my sentence Still I'm hoping all the while You'll give me Just one more word I said that I was glad to start out But now I'm back to cry my heart out For just one more I say this every week, but that was really beautiful. Oh, thanks, Jer. How'd you like the song, Denise? As we say in my country, it was très magnifique. Boy, I really like that language. I wish there was a French song we could sing before we say goodnight. Oh, but Frere, Frere Jacques, you boys know that. Come, I'll sing, I'll start first, and then Dean, and then Jerry. Okay? Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Why'd you stop? You forgot the wife. <laughs> I think I better say good night before I forget my language. <laughs> good night, Denise. Good night. See you again good real, night, real honey. soon. Thank you a million. Good night, Denise. darling. <laughs> and so, folks, until next week, this is Dean Martin. And Jerry Lewis saying, don't forget, everybody, we appear... To the courtesy of Hal Wallace Productions, producers of That's My Boy, our latest Paramount release. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, folks. Hollywood, you have just heard transcribed the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis show. Written by Ed Simmons and Norman Lear. Produced and directed by Dick Back, with music under the direction of Dick Stabile. Brought to you by Anison for fast relief from pain of headache, neuritis, and neuralgia. By Dentine, the gum with the breathtaking flavor. And Chicken, the candy-coated gum with the flavor that won't chew out. And by Chesterfield. Sound off for Chesterfield. Get something new, something no other cigarette has. Chesterfield mildness plus no unpleasant aftertaste. Here, Duffy's Tavern with Archie on NBC.